आत्मन योर वे टू हैप्पीनेस नमस्ते थैंक यू फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच हैज लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट देयर लाइक थ्योरीज रिटन बाय साइकोलॉजिस्ट लाइक कार्ल जंग ऑन दिस बट लाइक द वियर्डेस्ट थिंग अबाउट इट इज नो वन एक्चुअली एवर टेल्स यू हाउ टू डू दिस because it is so personal to people and it is so natural that and it's kind of deep you know you need to like pull out layers of yourself and go down in and just get through it it's called shadow work so i'm going to explain it in bits and pieces to you like the basics of it because too much of shadow work is psychotherapy and you don't want to risk psychotherapy right now right So the reason I want to put it out there and tell people and make people aware about this concept is that it is highly important. People have been so used to external stimuluses and constantly being bombarded that they have lost the capacity to become comfortable in their own skin, to become comfortable with who they are and You know people say how traumas and past experiences have affected us so well, shadow work is basically that is going out and finding the traumas finding the suppressed parts of ourselves in bhagavad gita we have different definitions of dharma the one that appeals to me the most is dharma as the art of being the dharma of the sun is to give heat and light it is the basic characteristic it is what comprises the sun right so if the sun stops giving us heat and light we will not say that it is the sun we say that the sun is not doing the dharma of being itself for me it was a long journey because i remember in somewhere april 2017 during my 10th standard we had this elocution competition and right when my name was called i was so freaked i lost my voice and i ran into the restroom and now you see this is the same girl who is making youtube videos the point that happened was my teacher told me to go for it because she said i had the potential and said she seen me having that capacity of communicating of talking of expressing ideas and it has been a long journey for me thank you so much ma'am this wouldn't have been possible without you and that's when i realized that the part of my dharma and my being is to express the ideas so i'll give you the example of jill again she is our favorite isn't she so you see jill yeah she is in a little suit she is looking pretty yes so the thing happened was when jill was a little more younger as a kid There was this experience where somebody told the truth or Jill told the truth which led to a lot of pain in her life and the people around her. And that one experience was enough for Jill to associate truth with pain. So for Jill, truth was equivalent to pain. It's equal to causing pain. And it just grew into her. She never realized, but when she grew up, she became a liar as you might call it or she would not just come up and say like if you go up to Jill and ask her Jill what did you have for lunch she'll be like oh i just had this weird thing um i had a quesadilla maybe when what she had was probably dal bhat why did she lie nobody knows it's just compulsion it has become an autopilot for her because she wants to avoid any kind of pain or hurt she lies and she does not do it on purpose chill is a very sweet kid she does not lie on purpose it just happens to her it's like humne socha nahi and ho gaya it just happens without thinking to us and it happens with everybody everybody has that one aspect which just reminds her of pain and grief and to overcome that pain and grief their mechanism just suppressed the idea of truth in her now truth is everybody's dharma right truth is a dharma being a human so because she was so suppressing the idea of her dharma it came out in another way that she became a chain liar and she hated it and she bucked up herself so much for it just like her we all have those little aspects of ourselves that we've been suppressing because 
it hurt us it did not yield a happy result social conditioning told us that this was not right and because of all of these reasons we just suppressed that part of ourselves and you've seen a spring right when you suppress it too much it bounces back and just like that our suppressed emotions and parts of our being when you just like like for example have you seen uh, kids these days coming out with so much of addictions it's because some part of them is being suppressed and it comes out in a form of addiction and we are all addicted because we are all hiding some bits of ourselves now i'm not telling you to like just dig in and then find everything out and do a blast into your head no i'm telling you to tell yourself that it's okay i'm telling you to give yourself a space where you can communicate with yourself about it where you can find out the root the trauma or the situation or the person that caused this behavior into your life and you know to i just have this belief that everybody is trying to become the best version of themselves and i make every video thinking that maybe somebody somewhere might actually like it and you know like oh this is relatable come on so i did that to myself and it took me 2 years to get over the entire strain of like okay shruti can make content which people will like shruti should and it took me 2 years of writing and expressing so no it is not an easy job it is extremely extremely painful because so many of the things that you never thought about would resurface and come up into your head but the point is you know people who are like just unapologetically themselves like they don't care what the world is they speak their truth they express themselves so perfectly authentically they just out there and you know we see people who just doing their thing and you want like what is just happening with this person how are they so happy and awesome and then you realize there are bits of other people that you keep constantly judging like why i suppress my emotions i constantly judged instagram posts like i had them as an inspiration but i had that creaky little thing like what is it about this person what is this bit about them being so perfectly expressing themselves and that's when i realized that this was something that was missing inside of me that i was judging in somebody else so you see that thing outside it's out there and i don't have it so i want it and that's why i'm judging the other person for it and everybody does that it's it's completely normal everybody should because you know you build your life learning new things and then there has to be this phase where you just like okay you've served your purpose now you should leave and you embrace this learning from the past and you grow over things right we all need to grow and this is one of the major things I grew over my fear because I chose to have faith in myself and I'm asking you to do the same to choose between fear and faith in everything of your life find out those parts that you've been suppressing forgive all of the compulsive behaviors that it is giving you and go meet that person in that space of trauma and tell them I forgive you. It is okay. You can come out now because we are more open and we can grow over this situation. That is it. And if you actually want to like do this thing, I have this entire thing which I used to tell myself and I asked other people and I did so much of research on this. So I have a like 10 minutes, 7 minutes exercise for you down there link in the below. If you link in the box below. If you want to talk about it, I have my Instagram and my email down below. Lots of love. Thank you so much for all of the appreciation and I hope this one makes an impact in your life because it has made so much in mine. Thank you so much again. See you next time. Um so a little footnote for you guys. Since we do have a 21 day lockdown, I'm going to try to make this journey a little bit more detailed and I'd like to be there for you while you're on there. that is if you'll have me so so i'm going to be doing that on my instagram so please check it out the link is there in the box thing below